Hey y'all! So today I'm going to be doing my 2017 Best in Beauty. Um, last year I did a top 16 in 2016 and I kind of did like a get ready with me style which was awesome. But today I actually already did my makeup so you can see the products on. But um, I didn't like do a tutorial as we went along. But anyway, if you want to see my 2017 beauty favorites, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so the way I do my makeup is I start with my eyes, fully do my, well not fully do my eyes, but do my eyeshadow and eyeliner, and then wipe off, fall out, and then do my face makeup. So I'm just going to go in order of the way I do my makeup, and then, I don't know, that just makes the most sense to me. Um, but first, I have to prime my eyes. Have to prime my eyes. My two priming, eye priming favorites are um, the MAC Prep and Prime, what is this called? Prep? Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. I should know what this is called because it's my second one and it's so good. Um, so I put that all over my eyes first, let it dry, and then I, for the most part of the year, went in with this Smashbox, sorry it's upside down, Smashbox Lid Primer in the shade Light. This is um, a skin tone like color and so it was perfect for creating a smooth and even blank canvas for my eyeshadow. Um, it canceled out the veins on my eyelids. It just evened out the skin tone on my eyelids. But I will say, I can't just wear this on its own. I have really oily eyelids. And so I tried wearing this on its own just to see if it could be my only primer. And my eyeshadow still creased and it just still kind of wore away. So I have to use two of these. To be honest, most of the year I was using my Smashbox one um, that's very similar to this because I had it and I wanted to use it up before I bought this one, but this one is still my favorite. They're very similar, but the MAC one, in my opinion, is better. Um, but yeah, perfect eye primers. I love eyeshadow and it's definitely my favorite um, makeup product. I just, I love eyeshadow palettes. I love single shadows. And so I was going through my collection and I was like, what was my favorite? Because recently, which I'll mention, I'll do a few honorable mentions, but recently I've been loving, loving some eyeshadows, but I only got those like three weeks ago or like a month ago. So I felt wrong putting them in. But consistently, the ones I've been using throughout the whole year, definitely um, my Anastasia single shadows. I did my entire look with these colors. I'm getting close so y'all can see. And then um, the other palette I'll show you as well. But Birkin, right here, is one of my all-time favorite transition colors. Last year, and the year before actually, uh, my MAC eyeshadows are my favorite, which I still love those. And Birkin is really similar to Soft Brown. I just, I love it. And the transition it's literally just perfect like it's uh, it just creates this soft depth if that makes sense like it just it's a beautiful color and it's just so it's not sheer that's not the right word but it's so I don't, I don't know effortless like when you put it in your crease you can just fluff it in and then it's just perfect so I love Birkin fudge oh my gosh I love fudge I use fudge um, to deepen out the outer V and these shadows right here, like this one, Pink Champagne, is stunning. It is what is on like the inner third of my eye. Um, my highlight is something different and I'll talk about that. But I just, I love it. It's metallic and glittery, but not chunky. So I really like Anastasia eyeshadows. They blend out so easily. They're pigmented and I don't know. I really have nothing bad to say. I actually haven't really touched these two champagne colors, which is weird because I love colors like this, but the mattes and Blanc, yeah, I know it's Blanc. I don't have to look. I know it's Blanc. Blanc type? No, Blanc. Blanc. Blanc type is MAC. Um, the mattes are just amazing. Like, fudge is so good. And one thing that I've recently discovered, which is crazy to me because I have been loving eyeshadow for years now, um, I would always, like, put a darker color with like a flat brush and my outer V and then I would blend it. I would blend it which is fine and that always works well but one brush, well a style of brush, 
that I discovered is brushes that, did I get? Okay, that's eyeliner, don't mind that. Um, it's brushes that kind of look like this. They're, they look like flat brushes, but they're a little bit fluffy. If that makes sense, like I will actually now dip into my outer V color, dip it in, use this to lay down the color and then blend it with this and it's just so easy. Oh my gosh. Um, this is a Morphe M433, but I'm pretty sure this is um, equivalent to the MAC 217. Is that the brush? I don't have any MAC brushes, but I think that's the one that's like everyone's favorite. I just got one from Sigma that is so soft. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, love doing dark outer colors with a brush like this. Um, I just had to mention that because I've just been, I've always loved to do eyeshadow, but that has made it so much easier. Not that it's hard, but you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, so one of my favorites were the Anastasia ones. And my other favorite is the Persona Cosmetics Identity Palette. I love this packaging, first of all. It's perfect for travel. It's, okay, it's like easily... Um, it's, it's easily, it, you can throw it into your bag, super easy, it's small, it's thin, it's cardboard, but it's sturdy, like I don't feel like my eyeshadows are going to break, um, it has a mirror, which is nice, I always appreciate palettes having a mirror, and this is what it looks like. So for me, I go in with this shade, and this is like the perfect shade, humble, I believe, yeah, it's like the perfect shade, um, to set my eye primer, and it looks like... It doesn't look dark, but it doesn't look very light in the pan. I know some people can use this as a transition color, but on me, it's the perfect lid shed, lid setting shade. Um, these colors, I don't know how to hold this without bending it. These colors blend so nicely. Like the mattes in here blend really, really beautifully. The only thing I will say about this is... Um, Charming is the lightest, one of the lightest matte colors, and for me, it's not light enough to be a transition. Um, I need something a little bit lighter, so that's why Anastasia Birkin Matte Soft Brown, Too Faced Peanut Butter from uh, the Initial Chocolate Bar Palette, like, those colors are perfect to lay down first. And then you can go in with um, any shades here, like, I even like to do, I mean, I'm really dramatic. I put like a soup, well I'm sure everyone does, um, a super soft, super soft color. And then I go in with a little bit of a darker color, which in this case would be charming. So for me, I just need a lighter color, but this palette is nearly perfect. If it had a lighter color, it would be perfect. But either way, I really love the way these blend. Um, I am wearing Sassy, this bright color here on my inner corner. And it's really great for travel too. Like it's really compact. Yeah, I just, I really like it. I think it's a great palette. And so that was eyeshadow. Um, then I go on to my liquid liner, but you know what's crazy? I still love a winged eyeliner, of course, but I used to wear a cat eye all the time, anytime I did my makeup. And sorry, I'm just adjusting my shirt. Um, and that's just how I would do my makeup. I could not not wear cat eyeliner which is fine because I love it. I think it looks really pretty. But I feel like now I'm getting a little bit older. Um, I feel like I kind of have hooded eyes. And so I have been doing my makeup, not differently, but since I'm putting a little bit darker colors on the outer V, before I would always use like soft smoky eyes, but I'd be scared of really dark colors. Now that I'm doing it a little bit more, I don't always have to wear winged eyeliner, which is crazy. Like for New Year's, I loved the look I did. Um, I just used eyeshadow for my eyeliner, and I did that a lot this year, and I didn't even like flick it out. So that's crazy. But when I did wear liquid eyeliner, I would go for the Stila liquid eyeliner, and this is in the shade, this is just their brown color. Okay. It is a felt tip. It's awesome. It stays on all day, all day excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> it stays on, I'm, excuse me, just burping. Um, it stays on all day. It's really easy to get a really precise flick. Like I kind of just draw like one line. Well, I'm sure y'all know how to do eyeliner and then just kind of like fill in the rest. But this is really pigmented and it's crazy that it's brown because I always would get 
a black liquid liner and I would set it with a brown if I wanted it to be softer or I would set it with black but I've just been using brown liquid liner when I've been wearing liquid liner I don't know this is kind of crazy for me because I'm like really set in my ways I like routines um, for makeup I like I don't really have to use the same products all the time since I have so much I like changing it up but when it's something like eyeliner I mean maybe I'm sounding really dramatic and I know it's just makeup but I don't want to like risk it on liquid liner because it can melt off and it could sweat off and it could flake away so I really am like set in my ways about liquid eyeliner so this is a really good one and um, I can't speak for the black I assume it's just as good but yeah I think I think I would actually repurchase this um, I love trying new things but again if I know this works super good for pencil eyeliner okay I love love brown eyeliner so much and I do have a brown eyeliner and last year I think I think my Japanese eyeliners won um, but I don't really wear black eyeliner on my waterline very much I pretty much didn't wear it at all this year um, I used to wear it more but now I love brown but one of my most worn eyeliners in 2017 is this Urban Decay eyeliner in the color where's the color alkaline I don't know if it's focusing sorry it is stunning it's like a purple like a violet purple and um, it's dark I'm wearing it let me get really close um, I'm wearing it on my waterline right now and it still gives you definition like as you can see it still looks dark um, but it just I don't know it's it's so pretty it's I love wearing purple eyeliner um, and really with any look like a neutral look a smoky eye a cool tone smoky eye um, kind of a warm tone smoky eye but I would pretty much wear this all the time and this was from the well, Naked Heat collection I don't know if this is permanent but I freaking love this I'll swatch it on my hand so y'all can see it's really really pretty love this eyeliner okay so that was the Urban Decay eyeliner and then the next ones I'm so excited about because they're really affordable they are from Sephora and they are the waterproof contour eye pencils so I have them in these colors and again I will swatch them but I'll talk about them as well so these are so creamy like so creamy and easy to go on your waterline but they actually last really really well too I almost wore this one which is a finishing game super pretty to kind of go with this semi cool tone smoky eye but I just needed to wear the Urban Decay one but these eyeliners are so nice and creamy um, they last pretty long on my eyes actually no they last amazing because before and still still now like I have a hard time finding eyeliners that will last on my waterline uh, usually they'll just go down to my lash line and then some will like go lower which I don't like at all um, but these are really creamy they lock in and I was wearing this green one go for a ride which is that last swatch actually the one at the top and I wore that for New Year's because I did like a really pretty green smoky look and it actually stayed on so long I feel like I looked at my makeup at like 2 a.m. and I was like whoa my eyeliner is still on but yeah these are great and they're affordable so I love these eyeliners so much um, I can't believe I spent 15 minutes talking about eye stuff okay the next thing really quickly is mascara so my favorite mascara of the year is the uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's the one that is a dupe for the better for the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. Um, and or Too Faced, sorry, Too Faced, Too Faced. I don't know, but yeah, this is awesome. It's really good. It like makes my eyelashes really thick and fluffy. And it's the mascara that I'm wearing right now. I didn't mix any mascaras, but yeah, I like the wand. I've tried the Better Than Sex, and it's awesome. Like, I remember trying it and being like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. But it flaked. <clears throat> I need water. <laughs> but it flaked. This one does not flake at all. So I really, really like it. It's from the drugstore. It's affordable. The next one is even more affordable, and it is the Essence Lash Princess. Is it Lash? Yeah, Lash Princess. This one 
has a wand totally different than the L'Oreal one. It's skinny and it's kind of like tapered. It goes almost to a point. This is really good for getting at the root of your lashes and lifting it up and it separates your uh, mascara. So most of the time I actually mix both of these because this gives you a ton of volume but it can kind of look clumpy, which I don't mind. I kind of like clumpy lashes. But if it's a little bit too much, I can go in with the Lash Princess and just kind of separate it a little bit more. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed um, these two mascaras this year. Okay, so that was pretty much... Oh, wait. Okay, so that was all my eye stuff. Um, let me go ahead and get the palettes that I just want to put an honorable mention to. I know it's cheating because I've only used them for like a month. Some of them less than a month, but I really have to mention them because I've been obsessed with them. So, hold on. The honorable mentions, which I kind of have a feeling I'm going to use these so much, which I already know I have. Um, the honorable mention <laughs> palettes are from Natasha Denona. And I truly think I'm going to do a separate video dedicated to all of these and like swatch them and I've been doing like anytime I've done a look with one of my new palettes I just filmed a quick shot of it so I can have that look when I talk about the palettes if that makes sense oh my gosh okay briefly like I'm not gonna spend more than a minute okay more than a minute let's go um oh my god this is the green brown like can you can you accept the stunning amazing beautiful beauty beautiful beauty of this palette it's stunning like oh my god it, honestly it kind of makes me want to cry not really but kind of it's beautiful i love green eyeshadow okay it's been like 30 seconds and i have okay i love green eyeshadow um and so i feel like it looks really good with my brown eyes these metallics are stunning i just honorable mention i love this palette i got the and I bought that one during the sale. I, wait, hold on. I bought this one first, the Sunset Palette. This is a stunning, everyone was raving about this, stunning. And I wasn't gonna get this um, because everyone was raving about it and it was so expensive, like, whoa. Well, obviously like the 29 palette, uh, the green brown was more expensive, but this one, because I already had bought a Natasha Joe and eyeshadow palette and I knew that they were really good. This one was really expensive and I don't know if I got it during a sale or if it was on a whim, but it's amazing. So when I tried this one out, that's when I was like, okay, I have been wanting the green brown palette for years. It's been two minutes now <laughs> for years. And so, um, I, I don't know. It was a disgusting amount of money to spend on eyeshadow palette. Even with a 20 for 20% off sale, it was still, disgusting to pay that much for the Natasha Denona green brown but since I used this one and loved it I was like you know what I love it so when I got this one and loved it I asked for the um Lila palette for Christmas and um these aren't so much my colors like I didn't even want this initially when I saw it but since I had used both of those eyeshadows eyeshadow palettes I was like I kind of want this and so again I will do a dedicated dedicated video on these um and show you different looks and swatches and stuff like that but I feel like I had to mention them because I have been loving them so much and it's been three minutes talking about Natasha Denona even though I said I'd give myself one minute so yeah those are amazing. Um, I will get into more detail later, but I had to mention them. Um, okay, moving on to face. I never used to prime my face for foundation because like I've mentioned so many times, eyeshadow is my favorite makeup to do. And so my face would kind of be like an afterthought. But this year, um, I wanted to try some primers and see if they did anything and so I got the Fenty Beauty primer and when I first put it on I liked it I liked the way it felt um it didn't really blur my pores or anything like just with the primer but then I put a foundation over it and it looked really good and my skin didn't look dry because now that I'm getting a little bit older um I feel like I have dry skin and so I tried a foundation which in this video, I actually don't have a favorite foundation of 2017 because I feel like 
For the past year, I was using the Too Faced Born This Way, which I love, but I was getting tired of it. I wanted to try something new. So this year was me trying different foundations to maybe find a new favorite. And I used um, the Clinique Beyond Solutions. It's the one that has like a giant, giant doe foot applicator. And that's probably the one I use the most this year, but I don't even like it that much. Like I put it on and I feel like it kind of made my skin look dry. And the reason I knew I freaking love this primer was because when I put this primer on for the first time and then I put that, not the first time, but when I put this primer on and I put that foundation over it and I used that combination for the first time, it made that foundation look so good. So I was like, it has to be this primer. I really like it. It's hydrating and I feel like it does make my makeup look better so that was primer again foundation I don't really have one that I just loved this year and was consistent with it honorable mentions because I do really like them is the it's over there um the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless is good I just got this um peach perfect foundation and it's good it's really matte so I need to use this but again I don't have like an all-time favorite foundation for concealer okay I am proud of myself because before I had only tried the Urban Decay um, naked skin concealer and I loved it and since I was using that for so long I was like I'll try something different so this year I tried the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Didn't like it at all. It wasn't creamy. It was like drying to me, but maybe it was because I got um, one of the little, the little sizes that um, come in the aisle, like right before you check it at Sephora. So I got a mini one. Maybe it's not the same formula. Got rid of it. Didn't like that. I got the, is it Maybelline? Yeah, the Maybelline Age Rewind. That one was really good and that almost made it into my favorites, but I really liked it. I got the Shape Tape. And this is the one that's actually making it in. But let me explain. So everyone was like talking about the Shape Tape Concealer. And for the longest time, I was like, oh, I really want to try it, blah, blah. And so I think eventually, I don't even know if Sephora sold it. Did I get it from Ulta? Did I get it from Tarte? I don't know. Eventually, I got it and I tried it. And I, when I first started using this, I didn't like it. Like I liked my Maybelline Age Rewind better. And ultimately I think I still do because this is full coverage, but it can, at least on me, look really um, cakey, even though it's full coverage, even though it can cover whatever you want it to cover. It kind of looks cakey and it's kind of drying. Why is it my favorites? Um, the reason it's my favorites is because I just have been using it a ton because it does provide such good full coverage. So. I think my mistake the first time I took it out and I drew one line here and one line here and that was way too much so then I would put a few dots on both and that was still too much so now for today at least I put like three dots on each side and that was it um again it's in my favorites because I used it so much this year I used it so much this year because it was good coverage um but ultimately I think no, not I think. Ultimately, I like the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and I really want to get that one, but I want to use this up. Maybe not use it up, but just use more of it. But yeah, I think I'm definitely going to go back to the Naked Skin. It's just thinner, still the right amount of coverage that I need, blends easier, because this, I feel like if you... This can be tricky to blend because it's so full coverage and it's almost, it's definitely thicker than the Naked Skin. So that one never looked dry under my eyes. So I prefer Naked Skin even though I use this one most of the year. Um, the next thing, okay, so for foundation, I'm mas not mascara, foundation, concealer, okay. Bronzer, this is exciting because I feel like the last two years and even maybe longer, um, I had the Hourglass Ambient Radiant, Ambient, Ambient, Ambient. Can I talk? The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzers, which I love. I honestly love those so much. Um, but again, I was using those for like two years straight and I really wanted to try something different. So I got a couple other bronzers. I got the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I like it. I got the Marc Jacobs um, Limited Edition, the coconut one. I like it, but this one is so good and it's like from Target. This is the number seven bronzer in caramel. Don't know why I'm showing you this, it's so reflective. This I bought because um, 
I was using the Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I really, really liked it a lot. And so I was just like looking up dupes for that one. Um, and someone said this was a dupe for it. So I was like, okay, I'll go to Target and I'll get it. I didn't know what color to get, but I ended up just going with caramel. I don't know why. It's obviously the bronzer I'm wearing now. I'm wearing all, not all these products, but I'm wearing my favorite products. Um, and it blends so nicely. I think this actually blends better than the Too Faced one. And the Too Faced one is pretty nice. But it's kind of sad because the Too Faced one is the one I was using the most this year. But once I got this one, it's the one I always reach for. Like I had to force myself. Force myself. So dramatic. <laughs> I had to force myself to use the Marc Jacobs one. And every time it was good. Like it's not bad at all. But this one is so good. And like I just, when I traveled, I would take this one. When I wanted like this is just consistent you know like when you have a product and it like won't let you down this is what it is so i really like it it's i prefer warmer bronzers because i'm more tan and um i really 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 love this bronzer i kind of wish it smelled like the two base chocolate soleil but no it's fine but yeah this one is so good it just it's the perfect amount of pigment. It blends really easily. It doesn't leave like a chunk of bronzer that you're like working to blend out. It's just, this is a really good bronzer. Um, okay, the next things that I'm so excited about are blush. And I think, I honestly think these are my favorite blushes that I've ever tried. And that is, that is saying something. Only because I get like nervous when you, when like statements like that, excuse me, I'm burping, when statements like that are made. And I don't want to like make a statement like this is my all time favorite. I don't want to say that lightly, but these truly are amazing. Like so good. Um, they are from Makeup Forever and I went crazy one day at Sephora. Didn't even need blush, but I knew I wanted to try these. Um, these are like customizable. And so you can get a single pan. I think the single pan is 22. You can get um, a double pan for like 30 something. And then I think for three, it's 45. So obviously like the higher you like, what was I saying? The higher you go, the less it is per blush. And so, I mean, not that it matters because you're spending more upfront, but price per blush, the more you have in your pan is less as you have more pans. Why am I making this so complicated? Like it doesn't matter, okay. Um, the thing is if you buy one blush, it's like 22 as opposed to three for 45. That's probably how I should have said it. But these are so, so finely milled. These truly feel like silk, like silk. And I think I was raving about a blush a while ago. Um, it was like, I don't know, it was like a pore minimizing blush from it cosmetics and it was really pretty. And yeah, that's pretty. And yeah, it blurred my pores, but this one, like it doesn't blur my pores, but it kind of, it doesn't accentuate them either. I don't know. These are stunning, stunning. Um, I am wearing this one on the end, which is one that I go towards. And then this one in the middle, um, they're just awesome. I don't know if I can take it out, but no, I don't have that little thing to take it out. These are really good. They're so, so, so finely milled and I just, it's so easy just like dip your brush in and stamp it on. Sorry if the lighting's getting darker. Um, but I just, I love these blushes so much. I just keep saying that, like I'm not even describing why they're so good. But these are just, oh, they're just foolproof. They're so easy to blend. Like for me, like I love blush, but I don't want something too dramatic. Like yes, you can see blush on my face right now, but I just don't want a blush to be so pigmented where you stamp it on and then it's hard to blend. I don't think anyone wants a blush like that. So these have the perfect amount of pigment, perfect amount of pigment. They, yes, since they are so soft and finely milled, you do get kick up, but I just, I love the packaging as well. Like this mirror is really good. I use this mirror um, to do my makeup a lot of the times. And like, I know this is <laughs> like, why are we so dramatic about blush? But the size of the pan is perfect to like fit a brush in. You know how some blushes or, or bronzers are in like really weird and small packaging and you're like, how do I get my brush into it? Like the mini NARS Laguna bronzer that I had, it was like, I don't even know where I got it, but I can't even use like, how do you get a brush in it? No, this is like perfect. 
and the colors they have so many different colors um i really wanted to get like a contouring one and a bronzing one but i don't really contour ever so i was like i'll just get six blushes actually this is a highlight shade um obviously it's not gonna be a highlight for my skin tone but i thought it would be a really pretty eyeshadow so i just went crazy um i have all matte and this one and then these two are shimmery which i don't know for me i prefer a matte blush but i did want a shimmery one just for when i wanted to be extra glowy but yeah these are really good i don't even know how long i spent talking about them these are so so good so that was blush um okay only highlight and lips to talk about next okay for highlight I have two and normally I would just have one but I I couldn't decide between the two I know I like them both for different reasons the first one that I'm just I just love this so much this is the um, Smashbox spotlight palette and pearl this was a collab with Casey Holmes y'all this is so stunning my favorite is this middle shade right here and it's the highlight obviously that I'm wearing now it is so glowy but it doesn't emphasize texture like I have texture like here I have texture where I highlighted and it doesn't emphasize it by any means it's just it's so pretty it's a really nice color to be honest I don't really touch this last one because it does have glitter this first one is super light and so I took a little bit of that and put it on top but this is the one I used all the time and when I traveled I was like no I need this when I pretty much do any makeup look I use this so this is amazing amazing I think I love it so much because it doesn't emphasize texture it's not glittery it's just it's just so pretty it's just shimmer and I really love um, the color scheme of this these are nice like this one that I don't use too often um, it's a really nice inner corner or brow bone highlight so it was this next one that I'm gonna talk about this next one I think I mentioned it last year maybe I can't remember this is so good like I, I actually love these both equally like I used this one more because I wanted more often than not I wanted like a standout highlight but this one is just as good for oh my gosh okay this is the Laura Mercier matte radiance highlight my matte radiant uh, radiant baked powder like matte radiant okay but that's what it means it is so I don't want to say subtle because it just it really does look like a glow from within this is just so natural I feel like this just makes your skin look like it's glowing like this is obviously highlight but this looks like your skin is glowing I don't know how to describe it um, I think matte radiance is the perfect way to describe it because it's not super shimmery by any means it's a matte radiant powder I don't know if you've tried it then I think you understand but I've actually used a decent amount of this I feel like it was um, taller before but yeah this is so good the last thing or last makeup item I'm talking about is lips so I do all my makeup and then I do my lips actually you know what I think I do I do my makeup and then I do lips and then I think I do highlight at the very very end but I don't know okay so for lips this is a surprise this is the H&M lipstick and it's in the shade cream chestnut or it might just be called chestnut um, and it's a cream finish but this is a stunning color like it is beautiful um, this is the color that I'm wearing on my lips today and it's like a your lips but better let me just put a little bit more on at least for me like it's in my lips uh, but better color and it's just it's really smooth it's comfortable um, it is a creamy type finish which I love lipsticks like this and it's just so pretty like anytime like I always wear nude lips honestly but anytime I was like I don't know what nude to wear I would grab this and I feel like that or any anytime I didn't know what lipstick color I wanted like with the eyes I would always go for this this is awesome and it's really affordable and I just love the color so so much so again that was H&M chestnut Another one that I loved so much that, again, is a really pretty nude is Aquarius by ColourPop. So this is Aquarius. This was such a nice nude on my lips. Um, this was another one where I was like, I don't know 
what nude to wear. I don't know if I want it like a warmer nude or anything like that. Aquarius never let me down. Um, it always looked good with whatever I look. So really good, super affordable. And then the last lipstick I have is from Urban Decay. Again, from their Naked Heat line. This is in the shade Fuel. This was really pretty. Um, it's definitely warmer than the other ones. It's that one right here. Definitely warmer than the other ones, but equally as beautiful. Um, I just, I love my nudes. Honestly, I do. I don't mind light nudes. I really do like them, but these, um, I feel like they really suit my skin tone as well. And they just, they're really effortless for me. I am not, I have liquid lips and it's kind of a shame because I have a decent amount of liquid lips. I just don't wear them because uh, they're, I don't know. They're kind of like set in stone when you put them on. I know they can wear off, but I just, for lips at least, I'm a really easy lip person. I want something, if it wears off, I'm not going to worry about it like smearing all over my face. If it wears off, you can easily reapply. I don't know. I really, I really enjoyed all of those. So yeah, those were my beauty makeup favorites. Um, I have a couple skincare items that I want to mention very, very briefly. Uh, this is the Kale and Green Tea face wash from Youth to, the, Youth to the People. This is my second bottle. It's awesome. It cleanses my skin. It doesn't strip it. It's really good. I'm going to breeze through the skincare because while I enjoy skincare, I love makeup and the video is already like 40 minutes long anyway. I love that. Um, I pretty much love the whole Youth to the People line. I have their uh, Kale and spinach green tea moisturizer as well as their eye cream. I am about to be out of the eye cream and so I have another one. I'm breezing through this because I have an empties video coming up. Well, not coming up, but I've been collecting empties and so I'll go into more detail when that comes around. But I really, I just, I really love the stuff that I, tr I have tried from them. Um, every year, the Sephora eye makeup cleansing, I mean eye makeup remover, this is awesome. Like, you shake it. It's awesome. It's easily accessible at Sephora. I just put a cotton pad, which the cotton pads that I've been obsessed with this year, the Shiseido ones. These are like, okay, why are you going to spend $10 on cotton pads? And that's exactly what I thought. But once I tried these, I understand they're so soft, like super soft. So love this eye makeup remover. Love these cotton pads so much. They're so gentle on my eyes and on my face as well. So I love these. Uh, the last, is that the last skin? No, two more things. Um, for body lotion, body butter, I have the Leanne Grace body butter. Um, I've gone through multiple, at least one, if not two, two. I have gone through two. This is my third. Um, tubs of this. It's so moisturizing, creamy. Again, I will get into it in my empties. I give these as gifts because it's just nice. They smell really good. They're really comfortable. They have good ingredients. And I just want to take a minute and just talk about this brand. I have ordered a few things from them. And the next thing I'm going to talk about is seriously amazing from them. But customer service is great. And I'm in like their Facebook group and the owner, I think her name is Cassie, Cassie Platt. I don't know if that's her last name. Her name is Cassie. She interacts with people who make comments on her page. She, anytime I've commented on Instagram saying, oh my gosh, like I love these, I give these as gifts or whatever. She always responds and likes my comment. And I know it's like, why does that matter? But it matters to me at least because she cares about her customers. I don't know. That's the vibe, the vibe. That's the feeling I get from her. And it's like, she's really interactive on her Facebook group, um, or on the Leanne Grace Facebook group. And it's just, I don't know. She seems like really positive and I just, I don't know. It's nice. I just, it's nice when like, I don't know, a brand owner takes time out of their day to interact or appreciate the customer. Um, so yeah, that was really nice. The next thing again, I'm actually not out of this yet, but this is the Leanne Grace Miracle Beauty Oil and Serum. This is amazing. This saved my skin completely. Um, anytime I need good moisture and I just want really nice skin, I put this on. Like, I broke out really bad over the summer when we went to St. Martin. Like, really bad on my forehead. I don't know what happened. And I put this on. And within a couple of days, it was gone. Like, I still don't have the best skin. But this, seriously, 
I love it so, so much. And again, I'll get into more um, in depth when I do an empties video because I'm pretty sure I'll use this up soon. And I'm honestly, the video is already like 50 minutes long. But anyway, uh, those are my beauty favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And I just love doing yearly favorites. I love watching yearly favorites because it's like things that people truly loved. But anyway, um, thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful and I will see you later. Bye.